In this video, you're going to learn how to convert from one metric unit into another metric unit. For example, you might make a measurement at home uh, of some number of centimeters of fabric that you need. And then you go down to Ikea, where else are you going to find a fabric with a name like that? And you realize that they're selling fabric per meter. So we need to be able to figure out how many meters of that fabric to buy, even though you measured it in centimeters. All measurements made in one set of metric units can be converted into another. So for example, because we know that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters, that means that five centimeters must be equal to 50 millimeters. So that's one that we can do in our head, but we're going to see that in some cases that's not so easy. So some measurements aren't really easy to convert in your head, but any set of measurements can be converted into another with multiplication or division. I'm going to show you how to do this now with an example. So let's try to convert 3.7 kilometers into meters. The first thing we always want to do is find that relationship between kilometers and meters from the table we saw earlier with all those metric comparisons. So if we look on there, we're going to find that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. The trick here is going to be to write this relationship as a fraction. So we could write it one of two ways. We could either write one kilometer per 1,000 meters, or we could write it as 1,000 meters per one kilometer. Now we'll see how we choose which fraction we need. So we're trying to convert 3.7 kilometers. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by one of these fractions. And we're going to decide which one based on the unit we're trying to get rid of. So we want to get rid of kilometers. We have it right now. We want to get rid of kilometers and be left with meters. So what we do is we put the unit that we want to get rid of on the bottom and we put the unit that we want to have left over at the end of this conversion on top. Now we decide which relationship we're using. So we find we have kilometers on the bottom, meters on top. Well that means we need to choose this one here. So that's 1,000 meters per every one kilometer. So what this does is it gets rid of our kilometers and it changes this measurement into meters. And so all we have to do now is this calculation of 3.7 times 1,000 and we're going to be left with 3,700 meters. Now I want to show you one more example where we go from a measurement made with a very small unit into a measurement with a larger unit. So we're going to convert 27 millimeters into centimeters and we're going to start the same way. Going to that table with our metric relationships and we find the one with centimeters and millimeters in it and we find that one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. And now we've got basically everything we need to complete the question. So again, I'm going to start by writing my first measurement, 27 millimeters. And now we're going to multiply it by a fraction. Multiply it by a fraction here. So I have to decide which units go on the top and which ones go on the bottom. So I look at the one I'm starting with, millimeters. So because I want to get rid of my millimeters, I'm putting those units on the bottom and I'm putting the units I want left at the end on top. So I have millimeters on the bottom, centimeters on top. And now I make sure I put these numbers in the right spot. So one centimeter for every 10 millimeters. So I'm multiplying 27 millimeters by this fraction of one centimeter per 10 millimeters. Again, what this is going to do is 
get rid of those millimeter units and leave us with centimeters. But what we see this time is that we have a 10 on the bottom of the fraction. So what the calculation looks like is that we have 27 divided by 10 centimeters. So in our calculator, what you'd write is 27 divided by 10, and this would give us our measurement in centimeters, 2.7 centimeters. So now you can see that when you want to convert from one unit into another, you'll, you can use either multiplication or division depending on which way you're going, which measurement you're going from and which type of unit you're going into.